Hello and welcome to a new video where I want to try something new. You may have noticed that I uploaded two videos. While this one includes my commentary, the other one is just a project video with some music. So if you would rather watch that, you can click the link in the top right corner now. This project is going to be a cake plate for a friend who makes amazing desserts. To cut the pocket for the resin inlay, I first use a 3mm end mill to rough out most of the material and to establish the outline. In this shot you can see the result of the first milling operation. Even though the bottom is very smooth, the sides are still pretty rough. That is going to change with a smaller 1mm end mill. Even though it has far less material to remove, the second operation actually took a lot longer than the first one, just because those tiny end molds are so fragile. With the negative inlay established, it is now time to prepare it for the resin. I use 120 grit sandpaper to knock down all the fuss on the edges. Afterwards, I use clear lacquer to seal the grain. I should have really sprayed on more coats or maybe used a clear epoxy for this. You can later see why this turned out to be a problem. The epoxy I'm using got a 45 minute working time. I mix the blue color in one part and blended it really well before adding the second part. As always, I greatly misjudged the amount of resin I would need and prepared almost twice as much as needed. Pouring it into the mold while it's still clamped to the CNC has the advantage that I don't lose the origin point in my cam software, which will be very useful in the next step. Since I don't have a vacuum chamber to degas the epoxy, I have to return periodically to burst the rising bubbles with heat. After it fully cured, it was time for the most satisfying part of this whole build. Planing down the part to reveal the design. The epoxy cut really well and made very pretty chips, but it also has the annoying property of sticking to absolutely everything due to static, I believe. But it is still worth it to see the work my CNC, that I spent more than half a year building, is doing. Once it's flattened, I can use my bandsaw to roughly cut out the plate and afterwards use my trim router with a flush trim bit to make the edges flush with the top. And now, even though I took great care with all the surfaces, I still had to spend almost half an hour sanding this. Finally, I decided to use spray lacquer again to seal the wood. It turned out not to be hard enough though, so if you have a better recommendation for me, please leave them in the comments below. And here is the final product. As you can see, the epoxy bled into the wood a bit. It still turned out to be okay for a prototype, but I will take extra care to seal the grain next time. I want to thank you for watching and would also like to ask feedback about this kind of video. Until the next video, have a great day!